Howdy partners, welcome to story time. We've got cowpoke story time this morning. Here we are in the wild west. So we're gonna tell stories about cowpokes, cowboys and cowgirls and horses and um, puppet shows too. So we'll get started with um, this one. This is a great book called Clip Clop by Nicola Smee. Let's see what happens in this story. Who wants a ride, asks Mr. Horse. Me, please, says Cat. Clip, clop, clippity, clop. I want a ride, too, please, Mr. Horse, says Dog. Up you get, says Mr. Horse. Clip, clop, clippity, clop. What about me? I want a ride, too, please, Mr. Horse, says Pig. Up you get, says Mr. Horse. Clip, clop, clippity, clop. Don't leave me behind, says Duck. Up you get, says Mr. Horse. Can you go a little faster, Mr. Horse? Asks Cat and Dog and Pig and Duck. Of course I can, says Mr. Horse, but make sure you hold on tight. Clip, clop, clippity, clop, faster, faster, clippity, clop, faster, faster. Clippity, cloppity, clippity, cloppity. Whoa, stop, we're falling off, squeal cat and dog and pig and duck. Mr. Horse skids to a halt and cat and dog and pig and duck fly through the air. I feel like there needs to be some sound effects. <whistles> and land in a haystack. Plop, plop, ploppity, plop. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dearie me, says worried Mr. Horse. Again, cry cat and dog and pig and duck. Do you ever say that when you want to, when something's fun and you say again? Up you get, laughs Mr. Horse and cat and dog and pig and duck go riding off again. Clip, clop, clippity, clop. The end. <laughs> I like that one. Guess what? I've got a horse here. I've got a horse and his name is Stormy. He's the best horse you ever did see. Every morning we'd go riding, we'd go riding, Stormy and me. Hey, Stormy, can you do a trick? Can you sit? Good job! Had a little horse and his name is Stormy. He's the best horse you ever did see. Every morning we'd go riding, we'd go riding, Stormy and me. Hey, Stormy, can you buck? Sure you can. Had a little horse and his name is Stormy. He's the best horse you ever did see. Every morning we go riding, we go riding, Stormy and me. What else can you do, Stormy? Can you eat a snack? Had a little horse and his name is Stormy. He's the best horse you ever did see. Every morning we go riding, we go riding, Stormy and me. Can you dance? Had a little horse and his name is Stormy. He's the best horse you ever did see. Every morning we go riding, we go riding, Stormy and me. Good job, Stormy. Good job. We're gonna do some clippity cloppity. And so on your knees, we're gonna pat a rhythm that sounds like a horse is galloping. So we're gonna try this. Clippity clippity clop. The horses go clip clop. They gallop, they gallop, they start and they stop. Clippity clippity clop. Let's try again. Clippity clippity clop. The horses go clip clop. They gallop, they gallop, they start and they stop. Clippity clippity clop. Good job. See if you can still make that while I'm showing you this. This is called a kinetic card. And let's see if you do some clapping and some tapping on your knees and say our rhyme. We'll see if we can get this horse to gallop. I don't know if you can see this very well. Let's see. Clippity, clippity, clop. The horses go clip, clop. They gallop, they gallop, they start and they stop. Clippity, clippity, clop. Clippity, clippity, clop. 
The horses go clip clop. They gallop, they gallop, they start and they stop. Clippity, clippity, clop. Oh, great sound effects there. I don't know if you saw that. I don't have a screen in front of me. I've got this little plastic thing. It's called a kinetic card, and there's kind of this horse on it. And when I push it through here, it looks like the horse is galloping. It's kind of a fun thing. All right, we're going to go to our next book. This one's called Cowboy Baby. It's by Sue Heap. I think you're going to like this one. It was getting late and Sheriff Pa said, Cowboy Baby, time for bed. But Cowboy Baby didn't want to go to bed, not without Texas Ted and Denver Dog and Hank the horse. Off you go then to find them, says Sheriff Pa. Bring them home safely. Cowboy Baby put on his hat and his boots and he set up on the trail of Texas Ted, Denver Dog, and Hank the horse. He went down the dusty path and through the barnyard gate. Over by the hen house he found Texas Ted. Howdy Texas Ted, said Cowboy Baby. Cowboy Baby and Texas Ted crossed the rickety bridge down by the old wagon wheel. They found Denver Dog. Howdy, Denver Dog, said Cowboy Baby. Cowboy Baby, Texas Ted, and Denver Dog crawled through the long grass and out into the big, wide desert. There by the little rock they found Hank the Horse. Howdy, Hank the Horse, said Cowboy Baby. I found them, Cowboy Baby shouted to Sheriff Pa. That's dandy, Sheriff Pa called back. Bring them home now, safe and sound. Cowboy Baby and his gang sat down on the little rock. None of them wanted to go home. Let's hide, said Cowboy Baby. Hey, Sheriff Pa, he shouted. I bet you can't find us, no siree. Sheriff Pa came to the big wide desert. Shh, said Cowboy Baby to his gang. Look where they're hiding. <laughs> Sheriff Pa looked, he looked and looked and looked, but he couldn't find Cowboy Baby, no siree. You got me beat, Cowboy Baby, called Sheriff Pa. But if you come out, there'll be a big surprise just for you. Out jumped Cowboy Baby. Howdy, Sheriff Pa! Sheriff threw his lasso. It twisted and turned in the starlit sky, and it caught a twinkling star. Look, said Sheriff Pa, and he gave the star to Cowboy Baby. Now you're my deputy. Then Cowboy Baby picked up Texas Ted and Denver Dog and Hank the Horse and Sheriff Pop picked up Cowboy Baby and all together they went home to bed. Nighty night, Cowboy Baby, said Sheriff Pa, but Cowboy Baby was already fast asleep. Yes, sirree. And that is the end. <laughs> All right, look who I have here. Got my own cowboy baby here. And if you're, you'd like to um, get in the lap of your parents, there's some times when we can pretend that we're on a horse. And I'm gonna teach you some rhymes here if you don't already know them. So this one, you pretend you're riding a horse and it goes like this. A smooth road, a smooth road, a smooth road, a smooth road, a curvy road, a curvy road, a curvy road, a curvy road, a bumpy 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 road. Uh, uh, a hole. Mm. Now I hope when you bounce on your horse, your head doesn't rattle like this little cowboy baby. Let's see. I got another one for you. This one goes like this. 
This is the way the ladies ride. Let's move sideways, side saddle. This is the way the ladies ride. Treat, 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 treat. This is the way the ladies ride. Treat, 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 treat. And this is the way the gentlemen ride. Gallop a trot, gallop a trot. And this is the way the gentlemen ride. Gallop a gallop a trot. And this is the way the farmers ride. Hobble dee ho. Hobble dee ho. This is the way the farmers ride. Hobble dee hobble dee ho. And this is the way the hunter rides. Gallop a gallopy over the fence. This is the way the hunter rides. Gallop a gallopy over the fence. And this is the way the cowpokes ride. Yee haw! Yee haw! <laughs> Yee haw! You hit my hat, cowboy baby. Look. He loved that. He's like, do that one again. It just makes me smile. All right. We've got another book to share with you. This one's called Rodeo Red. And this was written by Mari Pot Perkins and Molly Idol drew the illustrations in this story. I go by the name of Rodeo Red. My best friend in all the world is my hound dog, Rusty. Rusty and me had always been happier than two buttons on a new shirt. Until Side Swap and Slim showed up. Look who Side Swap and Slim is. Looks like a little baby there. <gasps> The first time our eyes met, I knew Slim would be trouble. He looked as slippery as a snake belly in a mudslide. I thought for sure anybody who hollered that much would be hauled to the edge of town and told to skedaddle. But the sheriff and her deputy seemed smitten. Slim laid low for a while, but gradually he started moving into my territory. I'd come home to find my belongings all in a tumble, my spurs missing or grape jelly smeared on my favorite hat. She doesn't look too happy. I tried reasoning with Slim. I showed him the border between his camp and mine. But that scallywag talked nothing but gibberish. He just moseyed back into my ranch like he owned the place. Finally, I threw in the sponge. I didn't want nothing more to do with that cantankerous lemon custard. Then one day, Rusty weren't nowhere to be found. I looked everywhere for him. I knew right then that Slim was up to his side swapping ways. It was time for us to go toe to toe, eyeball to eyeball. Late at night, I snuck into Slim's camp. There he was, sawing logs, poured Rusty in his clutch. I eased up and tried to slip Rusty out real gentle-like. But Slim was squeezing that dog tighter than a greenhorn riding a buckering bronco. I tugged and pulled, but it weren't no use. Dad burn it, Slim, I hollered, give me back my dog. Well, that woke him up. He set to squalling like a fire truck heading to a wiener roast gone bad. In two shakes, the deputy was there telling me to get. Wouldn't you know Slim would have the law on his side? I went back to my ranch feeling lower than a prairie dog's basement. I just had to get Rusty back. The next day, I snuck back into Slim's camp. I swung my rope and caught Rusty round the middle, but Slim lit into a loud a fit loud enough to chase a stampede. The sheriff showed up and well, what followed weren't purdy. She dropped me into a holding cell quicker than you can say lickety split. I was madder than a bee in a Sunday bonnet. Look at what the cell is. It's just a chair turned backwards, but it does look like um, bars on a, on a jail cell window, doesn't it? 
When the sheriff finally let me out, I decided to drown my sorrows and grab some grub. Halfway through my second cookie, I heard a commotion. The stagecoach had arrived with the mail. Glory be, there was a package for me. It was a belated birthday gift from Aunt Sal. Now, Aunt Sal is a good old gal, but truth be told, she's a city slicker. I was hoping for a sturdy set of boots or a good piece of rope. Instead, I got a, some sort of a varnished varmint. It looked lazy and addle brain to me. I doubted it could even keep mice out of the barn. And then an idea lit, lit up my noggin. You know what a noggin is? That's her head. I sauntered into Slim's camp bold as a new nickel and had that sissified simpleton in my arms cuddling it like it was the best thing I could ever, ever think to do. Slim's eyes shone like two full moons. He stretched out his hands and said, Gimme, gimme, gimme. I took my time petting it real slow like. <laughs> You want this critter? I looked him square in the eye. You gotta give me back my dog. Slim hesitated. His eyes darted back and forth between Rusty and that fussy feline. I could tell he was weighing things out. But the sight of that dolled up dandy was finally too much for him. He handed over Rusty like he was a hot coal at a barbecue. After that, Slim didn't pay Rusty, no never mind. He hugged that frilly varmint like he found his best friend for life. Well, there's no accountant for taste, but what did I care? I had Rusty back where he belonged, safe in my arms. It was time to put my boots up for a spell before the next adventure. I tucked Rusty close and we headed back to the ranch happier than two freckles on a sunny cheek. <laughs> and that's the end. Rodeo Red. That was a good story. All right, we're going to bring um, some puppets out here and tell you a story um, about Roy, who it's his birthday today. It was Roy's birthday, and he got a brand new cowboy hat, and he got some new boots, and the last present came in front of him. Oh, look at here, it's a box with a note. Let's see if I can read this. Find a horse, enjoy the ride. Huh, wonder what this is. Oh, look at here. I think I got here a saddle. Well. I just gotta find a horse now, and then I can enjoy the ride. All right. So, Roy set out to find a horse, only he didn't know what a horse looked like. <laughs> hey, are you a horse? No, I'm a dump truck. A horse, a horse is a living thing. Uh, I'm not a living thing. <laughs> well. There you go. Found something out new every day. I gotta find a living thing and find out if that's a horse. Hmm, I'll just look around here and see what I can see. Woo hoo, woo hoo. Hey, you up there, are you a horse? I'm looking for a horse. Who, who, me? No, I'm an owl. A horse doesn't fly in the air like an owl does. A horse stays on the ground. Oh, well then, I'll just keep looking. Hmm. Hey, you there. Are you a horse? Me? No, I'm a goldfish. A goldfish swims in the water. A horse is a land animal. Oh, well, <laughs> that narrows it down. Thank you. Okay. Still looking here for a horse. Hmm, a land animal. 
Oh boy. Hey, you down there, slithering around, are you a horse? Are you talking to me? Yeah, you a horse? No, I'm a snake. A horse has legs. You're looking for something that has legs. Oh, well, okay. All right, see you later there. Hmm, looking for something on the ground, something that's alive, something that has legs. Huh, let's see here. Hey, are you a horse? <laughs> are you talking to me? No, I'm a man-eating dragon. Hey, are you a man? <laughs> no, no, I'm a cowboy. Boy, emphasis on boy. I'm looking for a horse. Oh, well then, uh, you want to find something that doesn't eat men, that something that eats grass. Not me. <laughs> I'm glad it wasn't you. Let's see here. I'm looking for a, a land animal that eats grass. Hey, are you a horse? Hey, of course. Well, look for what I got right here. Oh, looks like a saddle. Yeah, I just got it for my birthday. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put it on right here. And, uh, and uh, why don't you climb on on top here and we can, we can set off. What do you think, horse? Oh, sounds like fun. <laughs> okay, hold on tight. Here we go. Here we go, horse. And that is the end. Okay, partners, that was fun. All those great horse stories. Boy, Roy, oh, he needs to learn a thing or two, doesn't he? Hmm. Anyway, maybe you can do some galloping today outside. Until next time, yee-haw!